everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Any Day Blessings. I just wanted to share a quick blessing we had today. Had a quick uh, a surprise visit, really, from one of our um, extended family members. We don't get to see a whole lot, so it was nice to see her and play with her. And um, it's always fun when the cousins come over for for my kids. So that was a blessing. We're thankful for that time, and I'm thankful that I get to have a little quiet time now to share this with you. Uh, so that was a blessing. I want to just show you what I did for my K-5 schedule for the for the day. Um, I have a master schedule, kind of like masters or managers of their home style, um, but I thought that would be too busy to show you what everyone's doing. So I just picked one of my kids to show you and um, kind of wrote it out. And hopefully this will be a help to you. I know a lot of people are con concerned with video time and distance learning. And so I'm just showing you some concrete examples with numbers so you can kind of see if maybe this could work for you in your home. So I actually do um, a Monday through Thursday schedule and then a f what I call a fun Friday schedule. And um, I start off each day, as you can see, with circle time. You certainly don't have to do that, but um, I, I enjoy it and uh, my kids enjoy it. So we'll keep that. It's just like calendar and weather and our missionary of the week and um, the 100 chart and just stuff like that. And um, we really start the um, curriculum portion of our day at 9:10, and I choose to do the heritage studies and science portion of the beginning video myself. So we don't watch that portion of the video. I uh, do parent-led lessons for that, and then we do the work text. And uh, it takes about 20 minutes to do that uh, with me leading it and just going right into the work text. So that's not too bad. And then. 9.30, we actually start the first video um, portion. So that is the, if you watched my last video, that's the little bookmark section that I think is called Jump Into English, or I think, or Jump Into Reading. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll try and link my um, other video below here so you can see what I'm referring to. Um, but it's nice that you can just click a link and it, it jumps right to uh, the lesson portion of the phonics. Um, video so I was thankful for that we're only going to have about 20 minutes of video uh, for the whole hour long beginnings video so that wasn't so bad and then at 10 o'clock um, we're going to have like recess and a snack and at 10 30 we'll come back and the math video is a little harder to shorten so we're just going to do the majority of that I think I'm going to stop it a little early each day um, but um, it's, it's kind of hard to find a good starting and stopping point with that one, so we're just going to allow up to 30 minutes for, the, for that video and then another 10 to 15 for the uh, work text that's assigned. So at 11.10, um, you could be done around then if uh, you just wanted to stick to uh, what's provided in the BJU Press uh, video guides because that's where they stop. But I like to schedule in some read aloud time um, to make sure we do it because it's really important to me to do that. So at 11.10 we'll just do that and then um, 11.40 we'll break for lunch and be done with kind of the formal scheduled school for the day um, with, this, with this grade with K-5. So um, after lunch we do all sorts of things like art and music and stuff like that but nothing structured and kind of student-led at that point. Um, and then on Friday, we have a completely different schedule. Um, we only do either the beginnings video or the math video with handwriting, either one of those combinations. And if you count it out, it actually works perfectly to alternate every other Friday, you know, picking one of those, because there's only 165 lessons in each, so you have 15 days off in each in each subject. So. Um, it actually works out great to just alternate every other Friday, um, pick one of those. And then at 10 we head out for our classes at the Y. We have an art class, a gym class, and a swim class, and um, then you can see we can do stuff like field trips or experiments that might take a little bit longer, things like that. Um, so this is working great. My son's really excited, and um, I hope it's a blessing to you. Maybe you can 
um, share below something that I'm not thinking of, maybe an idea that you've had that's worked great. Um, I know a lot of people, like I said, are concerned about the screen time. I hope this kind of alleviates that a bit that you can you can make it work for however um, you feel comfortable in, in your home school and still get everything in that you need to get in. So uh, any comments or questions, just leave them below or send me an email. God bless.